Hey guys, Movie Jackie for Life here again, and this is going to be my review of the Lego Batman movie, directed by Chris McCabe and starring the voice talents of Will Arnett, Rosario Dawson, Ralph Fiennes, Michael Cera, and a bunch of other actors. So the Lego Batman movie tells the story of Batman dealing with the criminals of Gotham City, as well as trying to raise his, uh, figure out the best way to raise his newly adopted ward. Dick Grayson, but it's so much more than that. So let's get into it. Um, the stuff I liked about this movie, this movie was really, really funny. First of all, it's very funny. I would say it's funnier than the original Lego movie, which in itself, it was so entertaining and such a wonderful surprise of a film. It turned out to be so good. And who would have guessed a movie with Lego pieces in it would be so good. So the follow-up here, the Lego Batman movie, is no exception, but I really loved how funny this movie is. It really does, I think what I enjoyed the most was how much they were willing to make fun of Batman. Because Batman, like X-Men's Wolverine, Batman is this larger-than-life character. He is uh, arguably the most popular of all the DC heroes. and. There have been so many movies and so much stuff done about him in the media. And Lego movie, Lego Batman movie, uh, they make fun of everything. They make fun of all of it. And I just got such a kick out of that. I think fans of Batman will also love how many Easter eggs and how many references there are to Batman going back from 1966 come all the way forward. They touch on everything it's amazing that they were able to fit all of that inside this movie and it was wonderful to see and it was very enjoyable the voice work here is phenomenal especially will arnett as batman i can argue that he is actually batman in the sense that it's not just voice work i think he's taken this character of batman and he has made it his own somewhat like what mark hamill did with joker I really, really love his voice for this character and he, he, his sense of sarcasm, his dry wit, it just fits so perfectly in with this character. Michael Cera does a wonderful job as well as the very naive, very lovable Dick Grayson, aka Robin. And uh, Rosario Dawson as Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl, don't call her that though. Uh, they, she, they all did really, really great jobs. Ralph Fiennes as Alfred. I could go on and on. The voice work was on point in this entire film. Um, the visuals and the sound, especially the sound, because the visuals, I was expecting it to look great because the Lego movie looked so great, but the sound is where this movie really excelled for me, especially the music. You know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, music in shows. I mean, granted that Beauty and the Beast is one of my all-time favorite animated films, um, but here, the music, it's so funny, it's so well written, and it's very catchy, very memorable songs that you'll find yourself wanting to sing along, wanting to learn the words. So there's just so much to love about this movie. They did so much right. And again, like the Lego movie, they managed to bring a lot of depth to something that could have been just written off as another cartoonish film for kids. They didn't go that easy route. This movie addresses things like grief, loss, fear of losing loved ones family all this different stuff is in it there's even some sexism on the part of batman when it comes to barbara gordon and i loved how she stood up for herself as she became batgirl um i'm not gonna go too much into that but it's a, it's an awesome character the way she's built and i i love that they're doing more and more of these strong female characters for young girls to see that they too can be superheroes in their own lives so all around all i think 90 percent of this movie was just flawless it really is a wonderful film i think kids will enjoy it parents will enjoy it. and most of all fans of comic books especially batman is gonna they're gonna get a huge kick out of this movie if i have anything negative to say about this film is i think the pacing somewhere down from the middle to the end gets a little laggy you know, there are little things here and there that I think they could have tightened up. I am also not the greatest fan of the ending of this movie. I don't know. I felt like the Lego movie. I kept comparing it to that I was as I was watching it. And I felt that had such a more of a thrilling, um, wonderful, emotional type of ending. And the last half of this, not the, not the, uh, let's say like the last 10 minutes maybe, 
I just didn't like the finale of it. I thought it could have been done better. It felt a bit abrupt. It felt a bit tacked on. And it was cheesy, for want of a better word. I just think they make they could have come up with something better to save Gotham. But all that said, maybe I'm just nitpicking here. All that said, I really enjoyed this movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I wouldn't even mind if they made a sequel to this. Granted, I hope they go and they explore other characters and make them bring them in Lego form for us to make fun of. But overall, this is an excellent film with wonderful morals, wonderful story, very beautiful visuals, awesome songs, and awesome sound effects. Excellent voice cast work. And with just a few pacing errors here and there and an ending that I didn't really like, I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. If you loved the first Lego movie, you're definitely going to love this movie. And if you're a Batman fan, I highly recommend checking it out. If just to pick out all the little Easter eggs that you're seeing here and there, you'll get such a kick out of it. So the Lego Batman movie gets a 7.5 out of 10. And that's going to be it for me, guys. So till next time, bye-bye.